Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge and William's convoy crashed into a pedestrian while the royal couple traveled to the Order of the Garter ceremony in Windsor. A motorcycle in the Cambridge convoy struck an elderly grandmother at 12.50 p.m. on Monday. The victim is currently in a serious but stable condition at a London hospital following the crash. The woman was taken to hospital in a critical condition, Scotland Yard said. The Duke and Duchess are deeply concerned and saddened by what happened and have been in touch with the woman who they say is called Irene, Kensington Palace said. They have sent flowers and hope to visit her when she feels ready. Kensington Palace said, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge were deeply concerned and saddened to hear about the accident on Monday afternoon. Their Royal Highnesses have sent their very best wishes to Irene and her family and will stay in touch throughout every stage of her recovery. Irene's daughter, Fiona, told Mail Online, she's got lots of injuries. They are just keeping her stable at the moment. Kate and William have asked to be kept informed of Irene's condition and have said they will stay in touch with the family. The crash comes within a month of the Duke of Kent's in Brighton. Prince Edward allegedly pulled out in front of a student's mini on the A27 near Brighton at 8.30 p.m. on June 2. Prince Philip also suffered a car crash at the beginning of this year. The Duke of Edinburgh rolled his Land Rover in the Sandringham area and subsequently gave up his license. The Independent Office for Police Conduct IOPC, is investigating the circumstances of the collision which involved the motorcycle attached to the Royalty and Specialist Protection Command. And IOPC spokesman said, the woman, in her 80s, suffered serious injuries and was taken to a London hospital where she remains in a serious but stable condition. Our staff attended the scene of the incident and after careful consideration, we have launched an independent investigation. The investigation is in its very early stages and the officer involved is assisting our inquiries as a witness. Our immediate thoughts are with the injured woman and her family and those affected by the incident.